Tired of long waits and rushed care at the ER and urgent care clinic? Next time, stay home and let Dispatch Health bring the power of the hospital to you. I call Dispatch Health. A care team of medical professionals actually come to your house. They're the same caliber of people that you would see if you were at a hospital or an urgent care. Dispatch Health can treat most non-life-threatening emergencies. They can do the x-rays, they can do stitches. Urinary tract infections, blood tests, urinalysis, ultrasound. It's almost everything that they can do at the ER. You never feel rushed. They're there for you and only you. I felt like their only patient. And it costs no more than a trip to urgent care because Dispatch Health is covered by most insurance, including Medicare. See if we serve your home at DispatchHealth.com. Dispatch Health really went above and beyond. It's wonderful to have care come to your home. House calls are back, and they're better than ever. Learn more at DispatchHealth.com. What's up, everyone? It's Bo here with another Andor TV Talk. All right, wow. Okay. (laughs) So I think we all knew that this was heading to the Prison Break episode that just seemed to be where everything was building up to. And man, oh man, this was not... Shawshank Redemption. Okay, this was not like Shawshank in space. This was something incredible. This was just a a full-on revolution, like a micro revolution that happened within this prison system. And can I just say, like the thing that kept on running through my head throughout this entire episode is that freaking Gollum, okay, Andy Serkis, like he, he enhances everything he's in just by being in it. Like he is incredible. And like, this was his episode and it's interesting, right? Because if you look at this episode, they gave Skarsgård this big, like, you know, soapbox moment at the end. And Skarsgård's a great actor. I think he's, he's fantastic. I think what the point he was trying to make was very interesting. I think it, you can make an argument that it's very self-serving for kind of like folks in kind of the elitist class wanting to like, feel like they're part of something. And so they've traded everything except they're still benefiting from all the privileges they have and all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's, criticize all you want anyway point is that his whole like soapbox moment was was there but scars guard i i don't know i didn't buy it from him and yet and but at the same time i don't know if it was that i wasn't buying it from him or if it was because it was juxtaposed by andy circus just acting up and down and mopping the floor of this episode with everything that he was it was fantastic absolutely incredible so i mean i just i hats off and then at the very tail end not only they they fight their way through they have this whole revolution you know like uh, you know andor got him on board they're like okay we're gonna do this thing we're gonna take it you know we get the payoff of when cassian first arrives to the prison and he's like noticing all these little details he's been basically planning in the back of his head all of this for quite some time we also see that cassian does not want to be the leader right like he is very much you know, he can be a strategist, he can be a spy, he can he can get in and get out and everything else. He knows what his role is, and he does not want to be that like that voice. And he knows how to elevate that voice as well, which is really interesting. But the big payoff this episode was was this, was the exactly this, this revolution happening within this prison, which by the way, we never actually get a chance to figure out what it is they're building. What assumes it's it's pieces to the Death Star, but in reality, it doesn't matter because it wasn't about what they were building, it was about what their like what the system was doing to them. And this was and continues to be part of the build up, build up, build up to what is creating the rebellion, what is congealing the rebellion as a whole. When we get to the tail end and, and you know, that the, you know, the very edge and they realize they have to jump off and they have to swim ashore. And Andy circus is like, I can't do it. I don't know how to swim. And, it, and he's just sitting there. He just looks distraught because he was just fighting to get out. And he's just at the tail end. He, he's not even going to get out. Now I've got to think that he makes it. Okay, maybe maybe it's the maybe it's it's the like the hopeless romantic in me, right? That somehow, some way, he makes it. Uh, there is like a there's the there's the extreme the, like crazy you know tinfoil theorist that's like maybe he drowns at the bottom of the ocean they fish out his body and they use it as a basis for snoke you know because obviously he ends up playing playing snoke in the future but i'd be like I, I don't know like i just i feel like you know i i get it i get it's the hopelessness of that whole situation that even when they get out when they get free when they get a taste of fresh air he's still not going to actually get pure freedom he's going to die before it happens. And he says that he says, you know, I've already kind of made my peace with what this is going to be. He's powerful. I mean, it's a powerful episode. 
Of course, Mom Mothma, uh, we get a few moments with her, a few moments with Skarsgård. We get kind of some inner workings of what's going on there. Uh, Mom Mothma, we, we find out that her planetary custom or culture, it doesn't, they don't say it specifically, but it, it, it seems as though they practice kind of a, a, an arranged marriage system. Right, they refer to it as kind of "quote unquote" the old ways, but it would seem as though that seems to be the case of for her as well. That she and her husband, like it, kind of explains a little bit of the distance there. The kind of the uh, a dead partnership to some extent. Uh, that, that perhaps she was kind of forced into this marriage to begin with, and that's something that she doesn't want. And more often, and moreover, she definitely doesn't want that for her daughter. Despite the you know the stretched relationship that her and her daughter have. She won't give up her daughter to this system. Now, they don't ever actually, I don't think, say that specifically, but that seems to be what is what is kind of implied here. But we get some sprinklings of what's going on with Mon Mothma. We get some sprinklings of what's going on with Skarsgård. But really, like I said, this episode was all about the prison revolt, the rebellion. And I mean, just hats off. Like, it, 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 Emmy, right? For circus in this episode? Like, can I say that? Does this count? I don't know. Does it count? Because it should. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So there you go. That's uh, I know it's a it's a quick. It is a true mini this week because that is the thoughts that I have for this week's episode. Hey, if you haven't already, head over to findeversale.com. We are entering into the last week of our fundraising campaign for that project. And honestly, we've got such a long shot. I don't know if we're going to make it or not. In fact, I kind of feel like I'm on the <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm on the floor of that prison not knowing if I'm going to actually taste fresh air. But uh, if you want to help us to get there, head over to findeversale.com, learn some more about the project. If it's something you're interested in, we would very very much appreciate your support. Uh, again, findeversale.com. That's going to do it for me for today, but don't worry. I'll be back in a flash. You made it. Checked out of office to check into the sweet views of this place where the kids aren't asking for the Wi-Fi. Mom, can we go to the pool? And when you're with Amex, it's not if it's going to happen, but when. American Express. Don't live life without it. Tired of long waits and rushed care at the ER and urgent care clinic? Next time, stay home and let Dispatch Health bring the power of the hospital to you. I call Dispatch Health. A care team of medical professionals actually come to your house. They're the same caliber of people that you would see if you were at a hospital or an urgent care. Dispatch Health can treat most non-life-threatening emergencies. They can do the x-rays. They can do stitches. Urinary tract infections, blood tests, urinalysis, ultrasound. It's almost everything that they can do at the ER. You never feel rushed. They're there for you and only you. I felt like their only patient. And it costs no more than a trip to urgent care because Dispatch Health is covered by most insurance, including Medicare. See if we serve your home at DispatchHealth.com. Dispatch Health really went above and beyond. It's wonderful to have care come to your home. House calls are back and they're better than ever. Learn more at DispatchHealth.com.